It's extremely difficult to deal with anybody in our life who is making suicidal threats and something's been going on between Keemstar and Boogie2988 and we need to talk about it and it's a very serious subject and a little bit of a trigger warning. Obviously, we're gonna be talking about some sensitive stuff. So if you need to, take off. I'll see you next time. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. Sometimes what I do is take what's going on in the YouTube community, try to see what we can learn from it because a lot of this stuff is happening in our own lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you didn't know, uh, all this month I've been writing a crap ton of mental health blogs over on TheRewiredSoul.com, my website. So if you wanna go check that out, um, and then after I'm done, after I wrap this up, I'm actually gonna put it all together in a free ebook that I'll send out to everybody. I'm gonna record an audio book as well, but I gotta pay an editor and all that stuff. So that one will cost probably like five or 10 bucks. But anyways, I'll keep you posted. But for right now, go check out the mental health blog if there's different things you wanna learn about improving your mental health. All right, so anyways, like those of you who don't know me and you don't know my channel, like my channel isn't here to just talk about tea or drama or anything like that. It's, you have these massive creators, these massive creators, like Keemstar, Boogie2988, like combined, like, pff, what is it? Almost 10 million subscribers between the two of them. That is a massive, massive audience, right? And that means that there's tens of thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands of people, watching what these, guys are talking about, right? And we need to take a look at what's going on in our lives. Like, it's not just something like, oh, these guys I don't know. Like, this is happening in all of our lives. Like, there is a good chance that you've known somebody who is suicidal. Um, you might have known somebody who actually took their own life. I know that's my experience. I've known people who have uh, made suicidal threats. I've had too many people in my life pass away from taking their own life, aside from you know drug addiction and overdoses and all those things. And I talk about this from personal experience as well because in my own drug addiction, I was very suicidal, right? And even when I first got sober. Um, so this is something that I take very seriously, right? And when this conversation is happening very publicly and you see people like Keemstar and what he's saying, it's absolutely brutal. So again, I'm not gonna drive into, uh, dive into the whole drama of it all. Keemstar and Boogie have been going back and forth on Twitter, blah, 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 right? But anyways, Keemstar just posted this video over on Twitter. You keep tweeting me and you keep texting me, Keem, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. You keep spinning and this, first of all, this ain't about feelings. This is just man code shit. You're just being snaky. You're asking for help and then snaking behind the scenes. It's just man code shit. It's nothing about fucking feelings. No one's over here hurt and upset. No, I'm just like, ah, fuck this guy. I'm gonna fucking show everyone who he really is. It's, it's bad. It's not feelings. And I don't even know why you're attempting to apologize because your apologies mean nothing, okay? You're a sick, twisted, manipulated motherfucker that was willing to go and stop criticism on you by threatening to kill yourself. What kind of selfish, manipulating fuck are you? Oh, iDubs, if you make a content cop on me, I'm going to kill myself. Like, you literally said that to him, you said that to all of his friends, you said it to every YouTuber you fucking knew so you would spread the word out to try to stop criticism. That's how bad and twisted and manipulative you fucking are. Go fuck yourself. It's not about feelings. It's man code shit. Time to grow the fuck up. Big daddy team about to teach you how to be a big boy, okay? So let's talk real quick. All right? Like, the lack of empathy and compassion, it, it blows my mind. So, like, here's a good example. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I just made a video, I just made a video yesterday, two days ago, about all the nasty stuff people are saying about Taylor Nicole Dean and to Taylor Nicole Dean, who is recovering from a heroin addiction, right? I'm watching people actively justify calling her a junkie whore, 
right? Like people are like, well, they do kind of have a point. Like what planet are we living on? You know what I mean? Like, this is one of the reasons why my channel exists. Like, why are people so angry? And when I look at somebody like Kingstar, like, again, my videos are for all of you. And many of you know, like, I come from the realm of addiction, right? But most people with addictions also have mental health issues. And when it comes to addiction, I understand where a lot of the hatred comes from, from people, you know, like, you get angry, you get upset. Like, it's difficult watching someone you love wasting their life away because of drugs or alcohol. It's difficult having someone close to you stealing from you, lying to you. Like, that hurts. You know what I mean? So I understand where that anger comes from, you know? And what I just try to teach is that these aren't bad people, they are, these are sick people. Right? Like the conversation around cancer would be much different if when you started getting, you know, symptoms of cancer, you started like stealing your mom's like jewelry and stuff like that, right? Like addiction messes with your brain. Now, very similar with mental illness, okay? Like certain mental illnesses make you do certain things. Like, <laughs> imagine getting mad like I understand getting like frustrated like you know with like your grandparents or parents depending on how old they are like imagine getting like really angry at them because they have dementia or Alzheimer's right like have you ever seen those really awful videos of like people who work at like nursing homes and they're just like beating the crap out of old people or being frustrated with them like those are appalling right like it is this unfair power dynamic and you're like this is like a poor old lady or old man who has brain problems right like mental health issues are brain problems and when it comes to someone like boogie 2988 who has been very vocal about his traumatic experiences and by the way this isn't making an excuse for boogie right like we all have to take accountability for our own mental health issues but to see someone like keemstar like just out there talking to his massive audience about how this guy's manipulating people and threatening to kill himself, it's brutal. Here's why it's even worse. So like I was just talking about with addiction and things like that, like <laughs> I can't even imagine, I can't even imagine, if you want, leave a comment and just say yes, right? Do you know somebody or has anybody you've known died from a drug overdose? right? Like this is something that happens all the time. Now let's talk about suicide. Earlier this year, Etika took his own life, right? And I remember when this all went down and I was defending Keemstar and I'll still defend Keemstar in this aspect, right? Because people were blaming Keemstar for Etika's death and Keemstar was coming on camera pretty much crying because Etika took his own life. And I can't even imagine having all these people blame you for Etika's death, right? And I stuck up for Keemstar. I'm like, listen, it is not fair to blame someone for a suicide. You know what I mean? But the fact that this dude, it's been, what, less than six months, maybe six months since Etika passed away, and Keemstar is now using his platform, right? to talk about Boogie's suicidal threats and talk all this trash to him. Like, I just don't understand this lack of just human connection and not getting that, right? Like, play this scenario out again. And, you know, I'm very glad that Boogie has a support group. Um, I'm not sure if he's still in therapy, but I know he's talked about therapy before and even medications, everything like that. But like. Play this scenario out. If Boogie were to take his own life, this that video I just showed you, everybody would plaster that all over the place. Blame Keemstar again. Like, when is this dude just gonna chill? Like, we get it, man. Like, you're this like super tough bro dude, and like you got a sick beard, and maybe like guns and hunting and stuff. But like, chill the hell out. Like, this is real stuff that's going on, and you know this because Etika just took his own life. But again, my videos are for all of you. Like. <sighs> I, I don't have the, t 
time or hell, even the knowledge to walk you through how to deal with someone who makes suicidal threats. But I just finished this amazing book called uh, Stop Walking on Eggshells. It's about dealing with people who have borderline personality disorder in your life. People with BPD, some people with BPD do threaten suicide, right? Some people with BPD do self-harm. Some people with BPD end up committing suicide and many of those are accidental suicides from self-harm, all right, or from threats. But anyways, in this book, Stop Walking on Eggshells, there are, there are a lot of tips on how to deal with someone who is threatening suicide because like, I've been on both sides of this thing as somebody who has been a drug addict, as someone who's been suicidal and made threats and everything like that, right? I've been on that side of it. And I've also had people threaten those things. You know what I mean? So I try to see it from both sides and I try to educate myself, but there will be um, information down in the description below. Like the holidays are coming up. This is a very rough time of year for a lot of people, but listen, if somebody, like this is just my suggestion, my advice from my experience. If somebody in your life is threatening suicide, right? You get them help, you call a wellness check, whatever it is, right? And if that person keeps doing it, you need to set up boundaries, all right? You cannot kill anybody and you cannot save them, all right? When they are threatening suicide, okay? So just remember those things guide them towards professional help, or you might have to back away for your own mental and emotional well-being. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. Again, there will be some resources down in the description below if you wanna check them out. Um, if you would like some mental health blogs, don't forget, check out my website, therewiredsoul.com. And yeah, uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel through buying my books and mental health merch and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.